on in. Come on in. Peace, peace, peace. Come on in, y'all. Come on in. Your brother never goes live when he drives. I have never done this before. Come on in. Come on in, y'all. Peace, peace. Let everyone know your brother is live real quick. Come on in. Come on in. Just a few quick announcements, y'all. A few quick announcements. A few quick announcements. How's everybody doing? I have a quick, few quick announcements. How's everybody doing? How you doing? Let me know what city, what state, what country you're checking in from, and I am going to give just a few quick announcements. I will not be live long at all. Trust me when I tell you this. This will be very quick. Very quick. Peace, peace, peace. Okay, so really quick. For those of you who may not know, I have an event tomorrow, a virtual event tomorrow. Very, very, very critical, very impactful, educational, and solution-oriented virtual event tomorrow. What I would like for you all to do is to click the link in my bio and secure your spot for tomorrow. That is between myself and Sister Risha Oshun with the I Am Surviving Vegan Academy. This is going to be a very critical virtual event. So make sure you click the link in my bio right now and secure your spot. And I have a few quick announcements here, a few quick announcements. Also, make sure you go to my YouTube channel. Make sure you go to my YouTube channel and subscribe and watch the new episode of the war on our food supply. I don't think we're taking this serious enough with what is happening with our food, but this system is getting very serious about what they're doing with our food. And when I say they're getting very serious, I mean they're getting extremely blatantly evil with what they're doing. Um, they're not joking when it comes to taking advantage of our food supply and injecting more than just chemicals now. It's not just the standard Monsanto, the standard genetically modified organisms, the standard preservatives, the standard things that we know about. It is far more complex than that. Okay? It is far more complex than that. A lot of people are talking about the mRNA or the messenger ribonucleic acid. Again, the mRNA or the messenger ribonucleic acid, which has the capability of editing and changing the genetic structure of the human body. Again, the mRNA, which we talked about in the new episode, if you go to Reza Islam IX and the number three on YouTube, you will see my new channel and you will also see the new episode of the Intellectual Extremist Podcast where we go over the war on our food supply. Now, let me just make this clear to a lot of those who don't know. They are injecting the mRNA or messenger ribonucleic acid into key food sources. This is dairy. This is chicken. This is beef. To a lot of the vegans, they are injecting it into lettuce. They are injecting it into other green vegetables. They have been experimenting with injecting it in lettuce and a few other green vegetables since 2016. Over here at the University, I believe, of Riverside, out here in California, that is something that I brought up in the new episode. Even if you are a vegan, even if you are a vegetarian, you will not be exempt from this. It is not something that you can just get around. It's not how this is, this is going to go. So whether if you eat meat, whether if you eat dairy, whether if you eat just vegetables, there is a war on our food supply. And again, there's good news. And the good news is this is forcing us to feed ourselves, which is a great thing. Again, the channel is Reza Islam IX and the number three. That is my new YouTube channel. Make sure you go there, subscribe to it. If you can, if you would like to help your brother out, please post in your IG story the new YouTube channel so that everyone can find it and subscribe to it. Reza Islam IX and the number three. Also, my Rumble account. 
uh, the Rumble account. Make sure you go and subscribe there. Just type in Reza Islam on Rumble and subscribe to Rumble. I am going the wrong way. One second here. Y'all about to pull a cop and move. Whoa, whoa, there we go. And this is why we know how to drive. <laughs> okay. Um, Rumble, Reza Islam on Rumble. Make sure you subscribe to that. Also, for those who would like to be involved in getting the exclusive everything, you have to go to my Patreon. You have to go to my Patreon. I had to pivot, right? Since I've done content on the internet, <laughs> y'all laughing about this. The move, I just had to make it happen. Just, it is what it is, it happens. Um, my platforms have been taken down so much uh, I had to pivot and make some other moves here. I had to pivot and make some other moves here. Just know your brother has never been paid from any platform that I have been on. I've had hundreds of thousands of subscribers on YouTube, never been paid for one video, never been monetized. Uh, the first time I even attempted to be monetized on YouTube, just so you know, for those who don't know, the reason behind them not monetizing it, and this is literally what YouTube said, the first time, my first YouTube, when I attempted to monetize it, was due to my last name. I'm going to say that again. The reason why I could not get monetized on YouTube the first time was due to my last name being Islam. That is my literal ID last name. It's conjoined Stevens Islam, but my last name is Islam. They sent that as a response because of quote unquote terrorism connection, um, radical Islamic connections. <laughs> Oh man, this enemy is funny. So because of my last name, I was not able to get my nearly 150,000 subscribers on YouTube, where, which means you build up, that's a lot of people, right? That means you're doing a lot of work. And in my specific arena, a lot of research, a lot of recording, a lot of editing, a lot. this is a lot of work that you're putting in and to not make no dime from it. I just want y'all to know, because I don't think I've said that before, as to why I was never monetized the first time on YouTube. Second time I wasn't monetized because again, same thing outside of just the name, it's what I'm talking about that they don't like. And that's why they shut down the second YouTube. Um, which by the way, the second YouTube was just a couple months ago that I had and we grew to over Again, over 202,000 subscribers in less than nine weeks. Was that monetized? Absolutely not. Um, just letting y'all know, this is the background. You know, people who do YouTube for a living, they actually make pretty good money. It's a job for them, right? It's a job. They're creating things that everyone else watches. So it is a... It's a job that they have, right? It's their way of making money. Here's the problem. YouTube, along with pretty much any other platform, has their guidelines or rules. And to be very frank and to be very, very frank, uh, these rules and guidelines are absolutely bogus for the vast majority. Uh, they are pharmaceutically sponsored, government manipulated, etc. So if you say anything that goes into exposing what this government is really doing. And I'm not talking about from a conspiracy theory perspective. I'm saying from an actual factual based research based expose where you're bringing out real documentation, evidence, information, and you're acting upon it by influence. You're educating politicians, you're educating artists and celebrities and athletes. You are helping people who have influence to be empowered with the knowledge and information that exposes this government, you will run into a problem and that is, uh, we're not going to pay you to expose us, basically. So I know the game, that's why I'm not entirely too irritated about it. You know, it's kind of like you want YouTube, 
a government-based, pharmaceutically sponsored CIA and FBI contracted organization to pay you to expose them? Yeah, no, nah, not gonna happen. <laughs> I know, I know the game. Uh, on the other end, however, I only do what I do to help the people. That's why I do. I can't speak for anybody else, but that's why I do it. And so it's kind of like the right thing is you should monetize a person who is doing what they're doing for the people. But the problem is if you're doing it on a government platform and the government doesn't pay you for it, it's understandable. <laughs> it's a hard pill to swallow, man. It's like, damn. That's the platform that has the majority of the eyes of the people that you want to help by getting them the proper information. But at the same time, well, they're not going to pay you to expose them. I mean, come on. That's their money. You, you're going to help them to lose money. So you want us to help you make money by helping us to lose money by you exposing what we're doing to make our money in a very evil way. But you're exposing it in a righteous way. But that's not how this works. And I get it. That's why you've never seen me quit because it's not personal. It's not personal. Uh, it's wrong, however, it's very evil, it's wicked, but that's their business, that's how they do business. They're, they sponsor a lot of evil and wicked things. And then on the side, they do everything else from kid, kitten videos to workout videos and they allow all that stuff to go. But when you start really getting into the nitty gritty of things, ah, you become a problem. So, my next point here, really quick. My next point here, again, this is why I had to go to Patreon, which I did not want to do. Just so y'all know, all these years, people have told me, man, Reza, get on this platform, get on this platform, get on this app, get on that app. You know, you can make money doing it here. You can make money doing it there. I never have been doing this for money. That's never been the point, ever, literally, ever, ever. Anyone, well, y'all know, you don't, you don't even have to know me personally to know that. Uh, literally, you don't have to know me personally. It, it is what it is. You kind of figured that at this point because if it were for money, then I would have stopped talking about the things that prevented me from making money. <laughs> I'm just helping you all to learn about your brother so you can understand why I don't quit. And that's because I never started with the motive, the money motivated motive to begin with. It's never about that. However, here's the other crazy part about this world we live in finances are a reality you see how it's like man you get caught in these hard places right uh we will never sell out so don't get that twisted ever ever we will simply fight to get the right solution but i had to get patreon and establish patreon because i had to find a way to make money working for y'all working for you in a way where I could do it and live right as a part of everything else that I do so that's why when I tell you to go and join the patreon now I didn't have a patreon two three four five six years ago because I didn't like the idea of that I had to change my understanding of what that meant it's not you it's not you having a problem with me charging. It's the fact that I had a problem with needing to receive something to give what I give because I've been given since I was a preteen. This is the knowledge, the information. I've been, y'all gotta understand this. Your brother's been studying and researching for roughly 22 years now. Like I, I've never, my life has been this. Before Instagram ever existed, I was doing the same thing I'm doing. While Facebook was existing in its early stage, still doing what I was doing. When MySpace got kicked off, <laughs> when MySpace was doing what it was doing, this is what I was doing. I just want y'all to know, this is not a, I'm not one of those people who started on social media. I'm not. There are those people, shout out to those who are content creators. That's fine. That's beautiful. No problem at all. But your brother ain't that. Um, but I had to understand. I had to learn. You know, I had to talk to family, talk to moms. I had to talk to a lot of people who educated me on the reality, which is, listen, you if you if you're going to give so much to the people, allow them to be able to give back. 
allow them to exchange because the sad thing is most of y'all have been wanting to exchange and support but i never had a way for you to do that um when i wrote a book that was a way for y'all to help you know in exchange because it's like the brother's out here working he's out here fighting he's out there doing all this for us providing us with everything that we need on this end you just wanted a way to to reciprocate i had to learn that um i really had to learn that I'm an expert in serving the community, but I have been very ignorant business-wise. Very ignorant business-wise. Seriously, I've been very ignorant where business is concerned. And that's what I had to learn even when it comes to serving the people. An aspect of that is business because you can't eat if you're broke all the time. You can't help the people if you can't help yourself. You know, and these are very basic basic principles that you know we like of course y'all know that i'm i'm learning that of course but again to be truly selfless is is not to be truly selfless is not a um it's not an easy road and it's not a road that everyone will understand everyone will not understand it because there's so many damn people who have fraudulently pretended to be selfless and they've had real agendas where they tricked people making them think making us believe that they were selfless when they really were doing what they was doing to get paid or to get fame or etc so you got people dressing up like legitimate people who ain't legitimate people that's my point and it messes up <laughs> it messes up you know the authenticity and it's like who's authentic out here but only those who have been authentic from the beginning who you can see and you watch over the test of time and you see their reputation and their record for years and years, that's how you can figure out, okay, this person is legit and that person is not. It's real simple, you know, but I've had to learn, y'all. I really have had to learn, to be honest with you, um, seriously. So Patreon is up for those who would like to become a part of that. Then also, of course, for the community group that we have, which is far deeper with a lot of things that we do, is the joinfreethinkers.com joinfreethinkers.com I created that group also because I kept getting taken off of everything and I'm talking about even the text apps wouldn't house my content, my information, my work they would not house it text apps, I want y'all to hear what I'm saying to you <laughs> when the government puts you on lists when the government puts you on lists to people who are not legitimate activists who have been doing this for years, it sounds like a wonderful badge of honor, and it is. It sounds like a wonderful badge of honor, right? Oh, the government, man, yeah, they, they shut me down. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about the trend of being shut down. I'm talking about how it affects your life genuinely, not the trend of being shut down because of a few posts. No, I'm talking about when your name gets put in front of attorney generals. People don't even understand what this means. When you get put on lists where attorney generals, do you even know what an attorney, do y'all know what attorney generals do? Do y'all know what attorney generals do? Do you know legally what this means? When your name is put on FBI lists and then because you travel internationally and you are effective internationally, you get put on CIA lists, travel lists, where you get pulled aside and searched separately, not because you have metal or not because you have certain things in your bag that are above the, I think, three ounces of liquid, etc. No, no, no. You get separated because you are on certain lists. Your brother is in that position. What this means is no, I'm not talking about because of a few damn posts that may have had nudity or something in them as to why they took them down from you. I'm talking about when the FBI visits your home and not because you do something blatant like say, I'm gonna shoot up the White House, something stupid like that. No, I'm saying there are layers to this thing. And when it starts to affect you, when you can't put your content on platforms, 
when you can't when you are not invited to so many places when you can't be on other platforms other you can't go to events certain events you can't be around certain people because they tell them not to have you around them you you really have to understand what it means to be a revolutionary it's not easy it's not even close to easy when you have people who abandon you you have people who will not want to be around you because of their fear that they will get put on lists you have people who will not be able to withstand the test of time who will not be able to have enough strength to stand with you because of fear that they will lose money that they will lose contracts that they will lose connections you you really you really have to understand how this works your brother's been involved in this for so long i'm used to it but i'm telling you right now it is not even close to easy it's not it is not. It's not something you should strive to do and aim for like, yeah, I'm about to get on this list and that list, bro. Sis, it's not what you think. You got people who do this crap online, right? Who talk a lot online because it's trendy to talk. Very trendy to talk. But when you get out here and you become effective against this system, there's a different layer of things that they do. They have a whole different layer of things that they do to help you to see that they see you <laughs> and that you better act accordingly is what their threats come with. Then when you refuse to do what they say and if you refuse to bow down, okay, then they take it to another step. They take it to another level. They take it to a different arena so that you can understand, okay, do you see how real this is? Do you see that we see you? Blah, 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 left and right, boom, boom, boom then that's when you start to have bank accounts being hacked. I'm gonna walk you through some steps of what your brother's been through. Your bank accounts get hacked. Your websites get hacked. They start to play with your money. They start to plant people around you. This is a very real thing. Y'all have heard me say this to people when I've interviewed or been interviewed on platforms. I'm not saying stuff to be seen, I'm telling you what the hell is going on. They plant people around you. They hack your websites. They hack your bank accounts. Listen to what I'm saying to you. This is not a movie. I, and, you know, again, we, we become so numb to this and programmed that we see it in movies and we think, oh, it's a movie. No, I'm telling you about my life. I'm telling you what this really is comes with once you get attacked in those arenas and then you start to go to another level and you don't stop the problem is you don't stop people who stop they leave you alone but they attack you they come at you in different ways different angles they hack your bank accounts they hack your websites they take you off of all the platforms that they control and you don't stop you don't stop you keep going all right then we're going to keep going they go to another level after they do all of those things, then they start planting people around you if you allow them to get around you. Okay, good. And they try to get something on you. They can't get nothing on you yet. You keep going. You're still going. Okay, let's go to this level. Then they start coming after your character. Then they start to accuse you of things. Then they start to say you did this. Then they start to say you've done something illegal. Then they go from the illegal thing to where it's like, okay, good. We accuse him of that, but he's still going. He's still fighting against us. He's still exposing us. She's still fighting against us. She's still exposing us. They keep going. All right, let's go to another level. Because the lie about you doing anything illegal doesn't work. Then they go to another level. They say, well, you know what? Hey, uh, he raped somebody. Always, a, always an option. If it's a man. If it's a woman, then they go and they say, uh, she was a prostitute or she tried to get sex from this person, etc., etc., etc. Okay, they start to go at you that way. So then the rape allegation comes out. Oh boy, this is very classic. No proof, no evidence, nothing, but just the allegation, just the accusation, just that is enough. And boom, then they will use that. But damn, if that doesn't work, she's still going. He's still going. They're still fighting. They're still educating the people. They're still fighting for the people. They're not stopping. What do they do?
after they cannot stop you in any of these ways. I'm going to tell you something, seriously. After I lost my mother, that changed me. I'm going to just be real with y'all. I'm very patient. I have a lot of tolerance and love, obviously. <laughs> obviously, I'm not bragging, but seriously, obviously. Yes, I love us more than anything. Nobody's going to take me away from my people. Can't nobody get me to sell out. Uh, and no one can cause me to turn on us at all. Seriously. However, I will tell you this. After mom's last year, my tolerance for this enemy and this system and anything that this world has in it that is evil or wicked or disgusting or anything that destroys children and attacks women and attacks the men and attacks the family and attacks our environment and nature and our food and our mental health and all the evil things. My tolerance has become shortened. My tolerance is less. I'm already at a point where I hold back a whole lot, but my tolerance is less. If you think this enemy comes at certain people because of how they expose them, just imagine if their tolerance became slimmer and slimmer and that they truly had nothing that held them back. Imagine how, imagine how much more dangerous they would be, is my point. Imagine. People who know me personally can tell you um, and seriously, I don't care what anyone thinks. I hate this system. <clears throat> and, and I want you to understand how deeply I hate Satan and I hate this evil, wicked system. I want y'all to really understand what I'm saying to you. I have watched what this system has done to us. I've watched it. I've worked with our people at the lowest levels on drugs doped up just came out of prison children taken away from them people who are illiterate people who can't read and write everybody in different gangs you name it that this is these are our people at the bottom this is what i'm used to working with since i was 11 years old this is this is what fuels me and to watch the system still exist that creates that condition outside of us being involved in that condition, right? And any of you talking about Jesus, shut the hell up. This is the side of me I'm gonna bring to you. Any of you on the internet talking about Jesus or religion or talking about how Islam is not correct, you can shut the hell up at this point because no one in any religion who refuses to stand up to Satan is a true believer in what they say they believe. Shut the hell up. You talk Jesus, you don't live him. I'm telling you what I'm telling you. So at this point, when I'm going into what I'm saying, especially when I'm talking about the death of my mother, respectfully, any of you on the internet, shut the hell up. I'm not asking you, and I will tell you this in person. Shut the hell up. You can record this and send it to anybody. I'm telling you. This is not for show. Real people with real lives will tell you the same damn thing. So while you try to get attention, you'll get it. <laughs> you'll get it. Uh, but respectfully, miss me with the Jesus Muhammad. Knock it off. Seriously. I'm a real person with real feelings and I go through real stuff just like everybody else. Miss me with that. Jesus would stand up to the system just like Muhammad would. That's what I'm talking about. So while watching what this system has done to the people and to see that it's still doing it, and to notice the fact that so many people are on the internet and they're not really speaking out against it, not really doing anything about it, is irritating. Most of these people are not willing to lose money. 
to even open their mouth and say what's right. I'm not talking about going do anything or no, I'm just saying just to speak, just to say what's right. Most of the people I've met with so many of these so-called revolutionary masculine, oh, divine feminine, strong people who y'all look up to, people who y'all look up to on the internet. Who, who I'm talking about put on a good front, a good image. Like, yeah, we sticking it to the system. Yeah, we fighting for y'all. Some of the most weak, punctified, cowardly niggas I've ever met in real life. Sit down and talk with them and then you start talking to them about really helping to change the condition of the people and they sound soft and they, their whole tone changes. If you saw most of these people in real life and you talk to them in real life, about the stuff that they put on a face and an image about on the internet, it would shock the hell out of you. Some of you wouldn't be surprised, but some of you would. If I started dropping some names, which of course I would never do that. But if I did, some of you would be like, damn, I thought that brother, I thought that sister, I thought. No, they really are afraid of this system and that's why the system is still here perpetuated because not enough people because there are plenty of people who do their part there are plenty of people who do their part to change the conditions of the people to really fight against the system and to help establish things that that build something for us for sure there's a lot but then there's a lot that don't there's a lot that don't and I can't stand it. I'm telling y'all, I've lost too much, man. I, I've, I've lost a lot. <laughs> back to back. And it will change you. Don't get out here saying you really fight for the people unless you're willing to experience what this enemy does. Don't do it to yourself. That's all. That's really all I'm saying to y'all. Don't get out here pumping your chest up, acting like you really are about that revolutionary, righteous life. If you are unwilling to be checked by this enemy, not checked as in you're going to be stopped. No, checked as in the enemy letting you know, I see you and you better shut up and you refuse to shut up and you stand on righteous principle and you continue to move forward. You will lose a lot. A lot. Can't even tell y'all the half of what your brother's been through over the last year. Trust me. <laughs> It will shock the hell out of you. Seriously. And it's not just the loss of loved ones. It's not just that. It's everything. Everything you can imagine. It's stuff that I will tell you right now. Again, I'm saying a lot without saying a lot. <laughs> I'm saying a lot without saying a lot. Seriously. For me to get on live and say what I'm saying right now, anyone who's known me, for at least 10 years, we'll tell you straight, that brother's at a breaking point. I'm telling you right now. So do not get out here and really say that you stand up against the system or you really wanna help the people or you really wanna fight against the system and build up our own everything, unless you're willing to lose a lot of stuff, seriously. Just want to tell y'all <laughs> because that's where your brother is. Very rough. All right. So when you see me out here doing this work, don't put me in the category of anybody else. That's all I really ask of you. Don't, don't put me in the category of anybody else. There's a lot of people who I thought were really for us who are not. Not even close. <laughs> and I don't call them out. Because I truly believe that, you know, the God will deal with them. Let them do what they do. And, and hopefully they come around and they do what is right. That's all. But there's a lot of people who I can, you know, sincerely, respectfully, if I, if I can say this, there are a number of people who I can sincerely destroy. Sincerely. Because of their wickedness and what they practice behind closed doors. While being out here saying they doing what they're doing for us. There, there's, there's some wicked as hell people. Um, 
who I will say this to in person and they can't say a damn thing about it and they won't do nothing about it. Your brother's been giving his life for this for 22 years, man. <laughs> 22 years. And a lot of y'all don't even know what that means. 22, listen, man, I'm only 33. What does that mean? What does it mean? Can somebody, can someone tell me, what does that mean? 22, what is 33 minus 22? Tell me that. What is 33 minus 22? Someone answer that question for me really quick. And there are a lot of our people out here really doing good work. That's that's what really helps me to move forward. Not just relying on Allah, of course, because we have to do that. Yes. But it's easier to just tell somebody to just rely on God, brother. Lean on Allah. Very easy to say. Very easy to say. Especially after you've had so much taken from you. Very easy to say. Not easy to do. And no one who has gone through similar to what your brother's going through will even open their mouth and just try to tell you that. But Negroes who haven't really gone through as much as you've gone through, they easily just open their mouth. It's, oh, just do this, brother. Just do that. Just, you don't even know the, the freaking half. Yes, 11 years. 11 years old. Brother Reza Islam has not been out here doing anything other than helping the people since he was 11 years old. I'm letting y'all know. Since I was, again, 11 years old. I'm 33. I just want y'all to know, what was I doing at 11 years old? Tutoring adults on phonics. <laughs> Tutoring adults on communication skills. Working with five, six, and seven-year-olds on communication skills, phonics books, and literacy programs. Literally. Since I was 11 years old, that's what I was doing. I was tutoring 50-year-olds on literacy at 11. That's what I was doing. I don't know what anybody else is doing. That's what I was doing. Then drug education by the time I was 13. Anger management, all this stuff. Since I was 11. In the streets, with the people. Compton, Watts, Long Beach, LA. That, this is all I know. This is here. <laughs> it's, it's all up in here. This is not internet. Oh, I found a trend. Let me jump into that lane. F all that. I can't stand people who do this for a trend. You can't do this for a trend. You can try. But take away all the followers, so-called. Take away, take away all the stuff that you use to do it and let it be raw and get in front of the people and let's see what you got. It's different when you give your life to something. It's different. That, that's all I'm saying. 22 years. And I don't regret giving my life to helping the people. I don't regret that at all. I'm just letting y'all know that there are a lot of people out here who haven't done that. Who haven't done that. But who make you think they have done that. And that they really doing it just for money, just for fame, just to be seen. Just those things. Having money and fame and all that is not a bad thing. But your motive for obtaining that and then how you use it, that is the problem. I don't give a damn about being famous. I care about helping the people. That's it. Prove it, Reason. I've been taken off of every damn thing for doing just that. I don't care about being famous. To hell with this system. To hell with Satan. I don't give a damn. Seriously, I don't. I will continue to be taken off these platforms. Period. Some people say, man, that's just not smart. That's not this. No, because you're a weak, punctified, cowardly Negro who seeks the attention of people and seeks the attention of a system more than you seek the attention of God first. And doing what's right for the people second. That's it. Nobody who has ever said anything negative about me has ever said it to me in person. When they talked on the internet because they know where the heart is. The brother's heart is in the right place and he's doing the work that's really that work. 
while other people are trying to climb up to be given some kind of status by this system. I don't give a damn about what Satan do. F this system. I don't care. Y'all want too much applause from the white man's world. I don't give a damn about that. It sickens me, to be honest with you. It's really irritating. And like I said, 22 years. I'm repeating that so y'all can get it through your head. <laughs> 22 years, man. Seriously. <laughs> Most people do not stick with no one thing for two years, let alone 22, when I could have gone into many different directions and I said, no, I'm not doing that. Everything from sports to acting to that, you name it, I could have did a whole lot of stuff. No, why? Because my people suffering every day. I watched it every day. I was like, no, I'm not about to go over there and abandon them. No. And I feel the same way and it will not change. That's right here. It's not going nowhere. I'm just letting y'all know to just be transparent with you that your brother's at a point now where it's like, man, this is, this is rough, man. It's rough, dude. You watch it in movies. What happens to the person who stands up to the government and what they do and how they destroy his, supposedly, right? You know, destroy his life. Da, 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 da. You watch it. If he didn't have a strong enough faith, it would destroy him. Of course. It would. You tell me how you would take it. Bank accounts hacked. Websites hacked. Taken off of every platform it means to help you make funds or get the word out, etc. Mom snatched. Brother snatched. Uh, a lot of those who say they are for the mission abandon you because they're afraid of really standing up. You get isolated. How would you take it? Honestly, how would you take it? It's easy to say something. But when you start getting in it, it's different. How would you take it? And you got to stand up and still fight for the people, have energy to fight for them. Meanwhile, you getting beat down. <laughs> like, really? Just interesting, man. Very interesting. So... Letting y'all know. Off duty LAPD officer. Yeah, man. Just 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 be careful what you ask for when it comes to doing this work. Just be careful. <laughs> Again, life feels like a movie right now. Have y'all seen Enemy of State? Starring Will Smith? Enemy of the State? I swear. I'm like, wow, <laughs> like, re really, really? And again, if I haven't been studying as long as I've been studying, then things wouldn't make as much sense to me. Things wouldn't make as much sense to me if I had not been studying and researching and learning history for over the last 20 years. I promise you, if I didn't know, if I didn't have up here what I have up here, I don't know how I would respond. I don't know. Again, it's easy for people to say, just lean on God, brother, how we're taught. Of course, seek refuge in Allah. Of course, easy to say. But never take away from what a person is going through. Don't do that. Because most have no damn clue. They don't. Can't stand a damn person who opens their mouth and be like, I know how you feel. You don't have a goddamn clue. You can't even begin. Trust me. You have no clue. None. Just wish that Allah blesses me and, and send good energy. But other than that, don't even open your mouth and try to identify because you can't. There are levels where you cannot identify with a person. I can't identify with a woman's with a woman having a cycle, let alone being pregnant. I cannot. <laughs> I just say, woo. 
you know what, sister, whatever you need, I, hey, here's some advice on things that I know that may help, but I have no idea what that feels like. I appreciate a person who is exceedingly logical and intelligent about how they talk, not someone who is trying to connect because they feel this may help. Stop going with your damn feelings and go with what is right. You don't know what it feels like. You have no clue. You've never experienced it. Stop trying to connect and just be there and let the person know I hear you and I feel you. And that that's it. Because there is no one who I know who has gone through what I'm going through. I don't know anybody else. Just so y'all know, outside of the Honorable Minister of Farrakhan, there is no, I don't know anybody else. I really don't. And even some people will take this as you know, see, it's different when a man talks about what he goes through. We're told, man, suck it up, man, boom, 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 boom. And it's like, nigga, listen, a lot of men who are at the point where I'm at do a lot of things, a lot of negative. Somebody say, you ever been to jail? Yep. <laughs> and I was teaching in jail, too. Hell, when I went into jail, people couldn't believe I was in there. I had dudes all up in the different terminals, all up in the different holding tanks, throwing their fists up, talking about that's him. It was funny. Hilarious. No, seriously. One day, I'm, I'll, I'll put that in my in book, too. But hilarious when I went to jail. Hilarious. I, the experience was just too surreal. I couldn't believe, like, I'm, I'm in jail. Okay. All right. <laughs> Me. Oh, all right. But whatever. That was interesting. Um, a lot of men that get to this point do a lot of negative things because they don't have people they can talk to. <laughs> and when we do, somebody will take it as weakness when it's like, bro, I can like turn your face into juice with how hard I could punch you right now. Ain't got nothing to do with being masculine. And that's something to do with the fact that we go through things just like women do. Everybody goes through things. There are things that break men down. Everyone has a point where they can get broken down. I'm telling you. Everyone's tolerance is different. What a per what one person can handle, the other one can't. What this one person can handle, that person can't. And I'm telling you right now, if you knew even a half of what your brother was dealing with, you probably would be like, ah, damn. <laughs> you would be like, oh, whoa. How how are you even half sane right now? How are you even, really? I have no problem with telling a person what I'm going through. My problem is how you respond after I tell you what I'm going through. If I'm able to stand up against the most wicked government along with some of our greatest leaders ever, Without batting an eye, without blinking, without flinching once. What the hell makes you think I don't have the strength? The hell are you talking about? You have no idea. I'll give you one quick example before I get off. Your brother was accused of raping someone that I never had sexual intercourse with. Go figure. Boom. <laughs> like, what? Woo! To you sisters... All of those who have been following my work for years, in one word, comment with my stance and defense of the black woman and women in general. How do I feel about the black woman? You tell me. One comment, mainly from the sisters. I want y'all to comment from the black women and, and women in general. You comment. What has Reza Islam's position been on women in general, but mainly the black woman? What, what have I done? I just want you to tell me. What have I done? What has always been my perspective, regardless to what anybody got to say? What, is, what has Brother Reza been saying? about the black woman. Huh. 
you love and vow to protect us. That's right. Simple as that. Respect and protect. Always protect, protect, protect. Yep. Boom. Love, honor, respect, protect. Man, it's, it's good to know that y'all know that. Because that's not what I say publicly and then do something different behind closed doors. That's the key. Because any damn body can get out here and say that publicly. It's a lot of a lot of people out here. Yeah, protect the woman. Yeah, protect the black woman. Meanwhile, this dude got four baby mamas. He got a wife that he cheating on with three other women. He be smacking women up, calling them the B word. Sex trafficking women. It's a lot of dudes <laughs> doing like putting on the biggest front. Meanwhile, doing all of that. That exists. Seriously. So don't let's not get this twisted. Just saying it and making it look like, oh, out in front does not mean that that guy is the same way behind closed doors. Let's not get that twisted. However, in this case, yes, it is. I can absolutely wholeheartedly say that. I don't just say that. I live this. For damn sure can't nobody prove otherwise and here's the sad part as much as i absolutely have zero interest in the white woman and i never will have interest in the white woman so don't ever get twisted that's not where this is going to go no will ever go there to the white woman uh never ever ever i've never been accused of raping a white woman one i've never ever had any kind of sexual or intimate intercourse with a white woman ever in my life and i'm proud to say that <laughs> Woo! seriously hey all right all right but i've never been accused of really the the most horrific thing that a man outside of you know like like sex trafficking or something like that i've never been accused of rape by a white woman it was a black woman that accused me of that And I got to be out here defending the black woman. Y'all have no idea, man. <laughs> no idea. Like, no, no clue. I have to stand up for the black woman. Meanwhile, it, so many black women make it very hard for your brother to defend you. Like, it may, you make it very difficult <laughs> like help me help you please <laughs> seriously really and vice versa for the black man brothers a lot of y'all make it hard to defend you even though it's a small minority that does these negative things the majority of black men the majority of black women are wonderful and do wonderful things so let's not get that twisted However, the ones that get highlighted and posted up and put up out there on the internet are the few that do negative things and it makes it difficult. But when it happened to me personally, it amplified how difficult this is. I will never generalize the black woman. I love the black woman. She is number one, period. There is nothing better ever. Why? Because I know how to separate things. The black woman is not who hurt me, not the, not all black women, not the majority ever. No. So let's not get that twisted. I love the black woman always and forever. Boom. There it is. And brothers, this is how we have to talk. However, I understand when a lot of our brothers are out here like, bro, I can't do it. She took my baby from me. She used the white man's court. I'm a good man. I've been working hard. I'm talking about brothers who really are good brothers really working hard they, they go on to work they're a good father you know they really take care of their children um really they pay the child support it just may not be as much as she wants them to pay but they really doing their best sir i'm talking about the brothers who really are good fathers and by the way the number one good fathers statistics will show are black men the ones who are the most around, the most caring, the most attentive, who do the most with their children are black men. So let's kill that deadbeat daddy nonsense. It does exist. Let's not get that twisted. However, it exists in every demographic. 
but the black man is the most attentive, loving, caring, and who was there for his children, statistically. Just so y'all know. But it makes it hard. That's my point. It makes it very difficult. And I have to deal with that while fighting against this system. And I'm being attempted to be broken down and destroyed by some of my own people. It, it's, it's, oh man. Again, for those of us who do this from the heart and who really been doing this our whole life, it, it's, it's hard, man. It's very difficult. Your brother's strong, but there's only so much strength, you know, you can, you can have. I'm not going to quit. Don't ever get that twisted. However, again, when you have things taken away from you over and over, key things in your life snatched, it, it's, yes, you have to rely on Allah. Yes, you have to rely on God, obviously, but it's not that easy. That's the only thing I'm going to say to you. It's not even close to that easy. You got to know everything that this enemy is doing to destroy the people, humanity, and your people. Then you have to research all of the aspects of it to then research all of the solutions around it so that you can get the solutions, extract those, and then get those solutions to the people in an effort to prevent them from going down that road so that they can see the trap. They see us there. You get, you gave them the solutions. They can use the solutions and they can say, man, thank you so much for, <laughs> for helping me with that. Boom. But you got to do that on a consistent basis, every day research. And you have to do all the, the shooting and the recording of the information itself. Then you have to do all the editing and all that kind of stuff. Then you have to go and travel city to city, educating your people, informing them, giving them solutions, helping them to see what the hell is going on. Then outside of all of that, then outside of all of that, you have to find time to eat, find time to sleep, find time to exercise, find time for yourself, find time to spend with your family, find time to, you have to juggle so much. You have to juggle so much. So many people will be out here applauding you. It's applauding. Go, brother, go, sister. Yeah, y'all go, go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Trust me. <laughs> promise you. I ain't never did this on no line before. And y'all know that. I, tr pr I promise you. I'm just at a point, man. I'm just at point and it's like damn you know you hear about people getting to certain breaking points you hear about that and then everyone takes it differently and everyone responds differently sure but when you don't really have most of us don't have the support that you think we do I'll put it that way most of us don't have the support that you think we do. Not even close, actually. Most of us don't. That's right, yes, yeah, self-care is... Self-care, yes, is very important. But I will say this. I don't use self-care as a cop-out. Where others use it... Most people will, will, will go into that bull crap of... I'm going to just focus on me when they feel a little pressure. I'm when they feel just a little, I'm not talking about no little pressure. I'm talking about stuff that y'all will say, hell no, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Most of y'all like, I'm done, bro. No, 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 no. I just want y'all to know. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. It, it's, it's so much more than just the basic. It's so much more than just the basic. Seriously. So much more than just the basic. That's the beauty of it, though. Because I see it. I can, again, watching others go through it, seeing others go through similar things, seeing it in movies, reading about it in history books, about a lot of what our greats went through and different things like that. Reading about it is one thing. Hearing about it, 
stories and all that kind of stuff about it. All of that is one thing. But then experiencing it yourself is very, very different. Very different. Any of the ignorant trolls um, who comment on here, just always know you have something called an IP address. This is something I want all of you to understand, to understand where your brother's intelligence goes. Don't do stupid things on the internet and expect nothing to happen in your personal life. Don't do that. Everything we do and say will come back to us. So if you are white and if you are commenting with some very ignorant things, that's fine. But just know, seriously, this is not a joke. This ain't a trend. Seriously. And again, everything that I said in, right now on the Internet, I will say in person to anybody so that they can see real life is real life. Don't get this thing twisted. I promise you, man, y'all think it's a joke. Like I mentioned earlier, when I said your brother was accused of raping somebody, you don't just lie down and accept that as a black man. That doesn't just, oh, uh, affect you a little bit. You have no idea what that does. Especially a good brother. I'm not talking about one of the, you know, if you just a nigga, you really out here moving nasty like that and you doing dirty stuff, that's different. I'm talking about a good brother, a good man, a good man, really. No one should be accused. Sister, I'm gonna tell you this. If you have a friend who would lie on a man like that, that is a devil. And brother, if you have a male friend, a, a brother of yours, who will do that to a woman. That's a devil. Both of us gotta be put in check, but I'll be damned. I swear to you, you are a wicked person who will do that to a man. You see what's happening with Jonathan Majors? Nobody knows the actual facts, but all it takes is an accusation and the brother's life is destroyed. He will always have that label over his head. Just an accusation. You know what's sad about this? There is no equivalent label that a woman receives that will destroy her life. That a man can receive that will destroy his. Calling a man a rapist and really putting that out there? And it's wrong. And that's only one of the things that your brother is going through right now. Just one. The beauty is, don't nobody believe it because they know goddamn well it's a lie. Extremely disgusting too, by, by the way. That, that's like a, I kill, right? That's a, a, a mindset. I would kill somebody for doing that to my sister. Make sure I say this on record. If a man were to rape my sister, yeah, I would go to jail for that. For sure. But in self-defense, that's in self-defense. You can say whatever you want right now. I'm telling you the truth. That is in self-defense. But for you to accuse not just any brother, this one, me, Reza Islam, of that. federal agent, government agent, I'm almost positive. <laughs> I swear to you, I was like, oh, whoa, I promise you. I was like, wait, wait, what? What? Wait, wait, what? Wait a minute. Hold on. I swear to you, when I when I heard, when I heard about it, I promise you, I said, wait, 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 hold on. Wait, wait, y'all y'all gotta be joking. You gotta, this is a movie, right? Like, I swear, I was like, you The person who called me and told me, I said, do you, okay. I didn't ask if this person believed it or not. I didn't really care. I said, here's my question, first off. One, I said, uh, absolutely not, never. But let me say this. I said, do I have to force myself on a woman? Do I have to do that? 
me. I have to go to that that level, that it's really a, a childish level, but a basic level. Do I have to do that? I'm not that kind of man at all. But really? You know when you get insulted, right? Like when somebody says something to you and you're like, that's what you think of me? That's what you think of me. I Excuse me? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hell, first of all, Breezo don't smoke, nor does he drink, right? Let's make this clear. If you try to force me to drink, I'm breaking your jaw. That's how serious I am about the righteous, positive stuff. Like, don't miss me with that. You try to put some weed in my face like this, knowing how I feel about it, you know what I'm going to do to you. So let's get this straight. That satanic devil nonsense right there. I, I'm, I'm again. So the point is, on one side is the, you know, the side where all of you hear things, but then the other side is, what is that person experiencing as a result of what you just heard about them? What is this man experiencing as a result? of what you just heard about him, about a lie that was put on him. What did you just, what does that do to a person? And that's all it takes is an accusation. Boom, that seed, bam, and you let that seed grow. But it only grows for those who believe something so disgusting like that. That was insulting as hell. That was insulting, seriously. That was extremely insulting. I'm like, uh, I, I laughed because I, I, you know, I'm like, uh, I, hold on. I can't even, I can't even, <laughs> I can't wrap my head around that. Like, I, uh, and you said it happened when, <clears throat> what, what really threw me. And again, I'm saying all this to say, we're all going through different things, right? Some of us are going through more than others. And there are things that you will hear about a person that not only does it not reflect that person at all, but it's even insulting and disrespectful to even put that in the same sentence with that person. But what made me look <clears throat> and, and laugh even harder and it automatically made me say, yep, government agent all day long was when they said, well, you're being accused of this. Uh, this person said it was five years ago. I'm like, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Excuse me. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. When? When? You trying to build Cosby a brother? <laughs> you trying to build Cosby a man? We can't build Cosby because I, I don't do drugs and I don't smoke and there's alcohol. I don't do any of this stuff. But, I, but wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Hold up. Wait. Wait, five years, whoa, what, what? <laughs> so, I was like, this has to be, somebody is pranking me. Somebody is pranking me. I said, you gotta be, stop it. Who? Stop doing that. Y'all gotta, come on now. Please stop playing with me. And they're like, no, really, this is what we heard. I was like, okay, where's this mystery person? I promise you, so where's this mystery person at? Please explain to me where this mystery person is. Same old playbook. You accuse a black man of rape. You accuse black man of fraud. You accuse black man of gambling. You accuse black man of this. You accuse black, da, 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 da. accuse him, accuse him, accuse him. Just accuse him and find out which one will stick good enough that the people will believe and yes, will turn the people on him. That way, anything he says after this won't be effective. They won't believe him when he brings out government conspiracy information. They won't believe him when he says the government is about to do this. They won't believe him when he brings out solutions that actually help the people. They won't believe him. Yeah, because we destroy this character. Ain't nobody gonna listen to him. Ain't nobody gonna be around him. Ain't nobody gonna listen. It only works if it's true for the most part. The sad thing is, it's not just my character 
behind closed doors. It's what I do in person, in real life, that everybody can see and they like you out of your goddamn lying devil mind. Really out of your mind. Really? I couldn't even get mad. I was laughing too hard. 22 years of my life and you mean to tell me, really? Really? Nobody can tell you how to feel unless you yourself, unless they've gone through it as well. Can't nobody tell you how to feel about this. If you're not a black man who has been accused of rape, you don't know what to say to me. You don't know how to, you don't, hey, you don't know the half. Gotta try it with less intelligent people we know the game since the beginning of time. Come on, talk the truth. Speak the truth. Speak the truth. I swear to you, I'm like, do y'all not have another tactic? Is your, your playbook is that old? I swear to you, I said, show, I, word is bond. I said, I need you to show the proof. I need you to bring out all the receipts. Bring it all out. When I heard about this accusation, I said, I need everyone to bring out the proof. I am willing to bring out the proof. I said, now, as a matter of fact, I'm sorry. Let me find my old phone from back then. I still have all of the text messages between me and this person, the correspondence. I have it. Funny. That person doesn't, doesn't have any, but I have it all. Now, listen, listen, listen. See, what you not going to do is attack a good man and lie on him. I don't like when people get lied on, male or female. I can't stand that. Too many of our people have been lied on and attacked, demoralized, and their entire lives destroyed over a lie. You're not going to do that to this brother here. Trust and believe. It ain't happening over here. I would listen, listen to me when I tell you something. If you think this government doesn't like me because of my ability to research, what do you think that means I'm going to do to you? What do you think I can do? What can I do? Somebody explain this to me. What can I do? In the defense of being lied on about one of the most egregious, disgusting things that could ever take place to anybody, and in particularly a woman. If I were you, brothers and sisters, just speak the truth. Don't lie on people. Don't lie on people. <clears throat> and there's even still a level of mercy that I have. Because the interesting part is, none of you have the identity of the person that lied on me. But you know me. You heard about Reza. But you haven't heard about that person. You think it has nothing to do with the fact that I chose not to release their identity because I still have the love and protection for the black woman. It ain't got nothing to do with, oh, we're going to find something out. No, it ain't nothing to find out. I want the truth to come out. Bring it. So that the world could see this. But I really believe in God. I truly believe Allah will resolve what needs to be resolved. That I know the truth will come out. That's why I'm, I'm not tripping. I'm just letting you know. That's one of the things that are a part of the mountain of things that are on your brothers so it's just weighing on me that's all that's what i'm letting y'all know it's just it's just heavy it's really like ah uh, it's like that combined with that combined with that combined with that combined with that that by itself not a problem but that combined with this combined with that combined with this combined with that it's like whoo whoo telling you Am I reverse suing? More than likely. More than likely. I love us so much. Y'all don't understand this. I love us so much. If you if you YouTube my name, there are you'll see people who um and I'm almost done. I'm about to hop off here in a second. You will see people who have talked about me. Right? Um and I and I truly appreciate all of you. I do. More than you know more than you know um including the enemy including the fbi agent who, including the fbi agents that are assigned to me truly appreciate you as well because you do your job well as pitiful as you are you do it well um
these things are really weighing on your brother and I just love us so much that I even while being attacked by my own people I don't blast back because I know where it's coming from. I know it's coming from a pattern. I know it's coming from parts of you that have been destroyed in you by the real enemy. I know it's because you don't have the knowledge of self. I know it's because you have the mindset of your enemy because he conquered us and destroyed us. I know it's because your father didn't teach you how to do what is right. Your mama probably didn't know how to teach you what to do is right because there are so many components as to what creates who we are right now i can't blast back at us because i'm supposed to teach and live an example and go after the real enemy i focus on the real enemy i don't if y'all notice every time you see somebody speak negatively about me with a big enough platform that you could find if they look like us you'll notice i don't blast back at them if y'all notice, you don't see Brother Reason going at our people. I don't go at us. I go at the enemy who is controlling the ignorance of us. That's that's the real enemy right there. See, I go at him. You can try to say whatever you want. Yeah, whatever. I'm still, I'm, I'm blinders on. I'm focused on the real, I'm focused on Allah God and I'm focused on this enemy. Just like that, nothing else. There is no Negro who has any type of influence bigger than what this enemy has and therefore we go after the real enemy. That's what we do. A true soldier is not going to get sidetracked by little Negroes. Sit the hell down, shut up. I'm going after the real enemy. Simple as that. You ain't nothing. Not one Negro on YouTube, male or female, with envy or jealousy or whatever the hell, or the lies that you believe, you believe lies that you heard about me, and you do videos about me, none of you niggas on the internet are worth my time. I say it to you in person if you ever show up. None of you. The real enemy is who I'm going after. Always and forever until we take his system out, period, and we establish our own righteously. That's the goal. There's nothing else. Nothing. That's the kind of spirit your brother got. I'm not interested in pitiful, weak Negroes on the internet who like to talk. Shut up. Let you just keep talking your head off and howl at the moon, Negro. You're not gonna say it to me in person. And when you do, I'm going to lovingly check and correct the hell out of you, as a brother should. But that's how you know you're doing it for clout. You're talking, you're talking, you're talking. You Negroes on the internet talk. You're not real men. You weak, punctified, Mickey Mouse, milk toast Negroes who want attention. You don't want to go after the real enemy because if you did, you would be doing that and you would be getting shut down like I'm getting shut down. But no, you want to go after your own people and talk about and attack your own people. You niggas make me sick. I love you, but you're, you're pitiful. You're poor excuses for individuals and that's why you got, you got to look up to certain examples that help you to focus. So that's what I'm dealing with aside from everything else. Because when I got accused of that uh, rape thing, just so y'all know, you had Negroes on the internet taking that and running with it, not realizing, uh, kind of retarded for you to take that because it's an accusation. One, two, it ain't believable because it never happened. Three, um, you might want to realize the fact that everybody, Everybody, without even knowing me personally, knows the truth. You can feel something about a person. You can feel it. You don't even have to meet this man or meet this woman, but you can feel. If you connect deeply within yourself to the spirit that you have, you can feel a person and you can automatically say, that brother is not capable of that, or that sister is not capable of that. That sister ain't guilty of that. No. Or that brother ain't guilty of that. Knock it off. Please knock it off. Please. I don't need to prove it to nobody. The burden of proof is on the state. <laughs> so you, you gotta prove that it did happen. 
But my point is for that to even happen to me as an accusation is something that it really helped me to understand that there are layers of trials that you will go through as someone who stands up to defend your people. Can you be accused by your own people of one of the most negative, horrific, evil things and still defend them? Because I know for a fact that there are other black men who have been accused of this very thing from a black woman who have, they've never done it, but it caused them to turn on black women because it, it, it just broke them. It broke them down. It broke them so deep to where they said, I will never defend a black woman ever again because of the mistakes or the intentional destruction of one, one, just one person who accused his brother of this horrible thing caused him to flip and say, you know what? I, I can't, nah, it happens. It happens. Will that happen to me? No. I, again, will never turn on black women. Although, again, here's the crazy part. It wasn't a white woman that accused me of it. It was a black woman. I'm just letting y'all know. It's it's like, damn, this brother been... I done been stabbed hard by our own people. I mean, damn. Just damn. But I will never stop defending us and fight for us. That is a fact. Because... All of y'all didn't do that. That person did it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That's the logical ability to separate things. Separate. Somebody said, Reza, I didn't know they had a Wikipedia on you. Yes. If the United States government has three files on me, yes, there's a Wikipedia on me. There's a, I'm on a whole bunch of things. I'm on uh, Fortune. I'm, I'm in there. I'm in all the mainstream media. CNN, MSNBC, hell, uh... WebMD, you name it, I'm in all of them. If you type in Reza Islam, you Google my name, you'll see. <laughs> That's another reason why they slow agent behavior was sent to try to destroy my character. He did this to me. I promise you, I was like, war. You know, man. Let me see, you know, the ADL website. Yeah, of course. Let me see. One of you said we will never take. I appreciate that. We will never take the bait and turn on you, brother. I appreciate that. Thank you for studying history. <laughs> Thank you for studying history. Uh, that's how the enemy will come at you. He'll use your own people against you all day long. It is very, it is a fact. It is a fact. Crazy thing is, yes, I've been attacked by white folks for sure. This government, definitely. But I've been attacked by our own as well. Logically, you never generalize your people because of the mistakes of a few. You never do that. A person who generalizes their people because of the mistakes of a few is a person who mentally and emotionally are not in present time. They're not in present time. And therefore, they say, everybody, all of you. And they don't zone in on that one and that way they can properly give respect to the whole i love the black woman my mama above all other women black woman i have a duty to stand up for the black woman same thing with my father i love my father black man i have a duty to stand up for black men i love my grandmother who i went and saw she just turned 82 my grandmother love my grandmother my auntie love my auntie, I will never turn on black women because of the mistakes of a few. Yes, there are some black women who are very wicked in their behavior. And it is sad because that's not how they are by nature. Because of circumstance and because of the environment and what happened, it causes them, some of them, to lash out and do what they've done out of survival or out of true bitterness and pain. It happens. Same thing with black men. Brothers don't be out there killing each other because, oh, we just want to kill each other. Knock it off. Knock it off. Black men don't just want to kill black men. That's not, that's not natural. It's not true. Environment, circumstance, lack of knowledge. What this devil has done by conditioning us and manipulating us and turning us into him 
into a devil. That's what happened. I'm not going to fall into that. But again, I will tell you straight right now. Your brother's going through more than he's ever been through in his life. And I'm telling you now. It's weighing on me. <laughs> That's all I'll tell y'all. I'm not going to break. Don't get it twisted. But I'm telling you now, again. Never been through this much in my life. And all at once. I don't even know where I don't know where to begin to resolve. It's 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 it will destroy the average person's mind. It will crack your spirit. Average person will you <laughs> promise you this ain't for no sympathy. I'm just letting y'all know because I have to be in the right mindset, the right spirit to put things together to put out for y'all to get. So if I'm affected in my ability to do that, then what I produce to put out for y'all won't be as effective as I would like for it to be. That's that's my point. <laughs> it's just So I got to just let y'all know your brother going through some stuff, man. Your brother going through some stuff. I know people like, man, well, reason Superman. And yeah. He had weaknesses. We all have weaknesses. And just life is life is, is doing what it does, but it's doing something very specific to me right now. And it's um six foot seven, muscular, intelligent, love God, love the people, all that wonderful sounds great, but you know, going through it. Going through it. That's my point. Uh, for those who are asking my website, it's rezaislam.com. So my, you know, my website is up. Yeah, they they hacked my website a while ago, so I had to get another one done and everything. Um, man, I'm telling y'all, I can't tell y'all everything your brother's going through, but just know it, there's there's some stuff. One other thing, outside of being accused of rape, outside of that, which was recent, being accused of it, and then apparently this happened apparently five years ago. Okay, out of your goddamn mind. But all right. Outside of that, <laughs> outside of losing moms, outside of losing my brother, all within 12 months, <laughs> outside of that, for the website, for those of you who just bring up the website, because I did mention how it was hacked, the website is rezaislam.com, so it is up, thankfully. I lost roughly 30 grand being scammed out of my last website. Say this to y'all again. <laughs> I don't tell y'all nothing because I'm not this kind of person who gets on the internet and uses as a diary. It's what the enemy does. Um, but the enemy knows about the things that I'm telling you. So therefore, whatever. Lost 30 grand. Scammed by a web team who were building up my site so that I could have my own hub to put everything Scammed us out of 30 grand. That was months ago. That was months ago. Just to give y'all some perspective of what your brother deals with. Just to give you that perspective. Okay? Somebody said, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I am. I'm like, dang. Oh man, because because they were referred by a trusted person, and that's why it it was like, yo, really? <laughs> Just, come on, man, really? Oh sheesh! So my team is dealing with that because I'm like, damn. Somebody said, yeah, that's effed up. Yes, that. See, I like that response because that's real. Yes, that is effed up, and it's okay to say that because that's the truth. Not all well, but listen, man, I'm a soldier. Knock it off. The truth is the truth. I'm from Compton. Speak raw. That's effed up. <laughs> it's no. I said it as a Muslim. Yes, that's effed up. People start getting twisted. Stop it. Speak the raw truth. And there's a whole lot more that your brother's dealt with in the last year and a half, two years, that will you trust me. You you be like, ah, all right. So anyway, um, that's enough for me being transparent with y'all. 
in a way that I've never done before. That's enough. I'm good. Just wanted to let y'all know that. All right. Sue the web team and the rape accuser. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. No doubt. Um, last thing I want to say really quick. Last thing I want to say really quick. I have a virtual event tomorrow. Definitely will be great if you would pull up to that. If you are available, pull up to that. Uh, go to the link in my bio. Make sure you go to that and get your spot for the virtual event between myself and Orisha Oshun from I Am Surviving Vegan. Make sure you click the link in my bio to go to that. That is going to be critical. A lot of information, especially dealing with our food, especially dealing with that. It is critical. So make sure you go ahead and click the link in the bio for that. Also, for those of you who are not on the Patreon, go to patreon.com and search up Riza Islam because that's one of the only places where I can house my content uh, where they won't take it down. So you gotta go there. If they take it down from all these other platforms, it will be up on Patreon. And Patreon, by the way, you get, uh, yes, Patreon does cost, yes, for sure. I'm, I'm working my, my my backside off. you damn right. <laughs> really? Yes. Uh, but there's different levels on Patreon. And whatever works for you, works for you. Go to patreon.com, search up Reza Islam. Make sure you subscribe to that. Um, and yes, every week, new Patreon, everything is happening. Every week, new, new content, new interviews. By the way, you will not believe who your brother just interviewed. You will not believe. But that interview will be dropping Friday, next Friday. Go to patreon.com, search for Breeze Islam, and become a member on one of those levels. Also, go to my YouTube account, Reza Islam IX and the number three. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is the third channel. Let's see how long this one is up because, again, we know what they do. Also, go to Rumble, Reza Islam. I'm just letting y'all know the different areas where you can access what I put up. Rumble, Reza Islam. And then also, for those who want to be a part of the private group where we go over solutions, I get you connected with the people in the different areas where we become armed with the different um, solutions and different things that we do in the community and a whole lot more. Go to joinfreethinkers.com. Joinfreethinkers.com. So these are all the different avenues uh, where you can connect with your brother and also have access to all the content, all the different things that we're doing. I appreciate you. I, I'm not asking for donations, y'all. That's not that I, I was just genuinely being transparent with you in a way that I've never done before. This was not to build up emotion so that you could feel sorry. No, 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 that, that's not at all what this is about. I mean that, that's not at all what this is about. I don't get on the internet and I do not talk about my personal anything on the internet I don't do that so I appreciate that I do um, if you if you feel that you would like to help etc then there are, you can go to any one of those platforms and do whatever you feel needs to be done um, you can go to my website reasonislam.com and you can scroll down if you would like to do something or send something whatever in, in whatever way but I just wanted to let you know that it, that's not why I got on here and said what I said I had to get on here and get this off my chest because it's really messing me up. It's messing up my ability to do for y'all what I do for y'all. That's what's happening here. It really is. So I just had to let y'all know. That way you can be patient with your brother and you can understand he's dealing with some really heavy stuff in life right now. And you know, it's just really, um, it's really help our brother with good energy, etc. That's all I'm saying. All right, so I appreciate y'all, truly. I really do. Uh, we're gonna get through this. I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping. Uh, I will be on that punching bag and on everything else like, I, like I'm on just so I don't get out here and smack fire out of somebody, bow, which you know I won't do that uh, unless I'm sparring, but definitely. I appreciate y'all. Pray you have a good day. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Feel good, feel good, feel good. Find a positive, build something, build something. Spend time with your family, y'all. Much love, man. Allah bless you. Peace, peace. Assalamu alaikum.